And, um, hang on. Okay, now it decides to work. My mic wasn't working for the first few seconds. Wow. Hello everyone, Bandicoot Commando 95 here, and welcome to my brand new Let's Play of Spyro 2 Ripto's Rage. Some intro. And... Oh, whoops, I forgot to delete my old file. I'll be sure to do that. So, yeah, Spyro 2 Ripto's Rage. I, uh, you know, I did the previous game, and... And after doing Crash 2, I thought to myself, I think it's time to do Spyro 2. So yeah, I'm doing Spyro 2, but Spyro 2 is also special in its own way. Because... Oh man, I am tired of this thing. I don't know how this is gonna sound. So... Hang on. There. This should help. There. That should help. Okay, where was I? That. This is my 10th Let's Play, okay? Let's just keep it at that. Now, let's start a new game. Over right, and okay. In the world of dragons. It's a rainy day in the Dragon Realms. Is this rain ever gonna stop? I've forgotten what the sun looks like. I know like. that feeling, Spyro. We should go on vacation. Somewhere warm. Somewhere sunny. Dragon, Dragon Shores. Shores. Yeah, I haven't been there since we kicked <laughs> <Nancy> <laughs> We said it at the same time. How about it, Sparks? You up for a vacation at the beach? Oh, Let's since you last kicked north. Nasty? Yeah, good times. Meanwhile, in the world of Avalon. Is it working, Professor? Almost. Just a few more adjustments to these orbs and... Maybe this isn't such a good idea. Bringing a dragon here could just make Ripto angrier. Calm down, Hunter, and stop fidgeting. But you saw the professor's book. They have claws like this, teeth like this, and they spit fire like this. <laughs> <laughs> they sound much more dangerous than Ripto. That's exactly the point. A dragon is our only chance of stopping Ripto, and you know it. It's working. It's working. I've got a dragon. I've got a dragon. I got a dragon. I got a jar of dirt. I got a jar of dirt. Hi, which way's the beach? Hey, stop staring. Haven't you guys ever seen a dragon before? You're a dragon? You got a problem with that pussycat? Oh. Well, well, someone forgot to invite me to the party. Were you trying to keep something from me? A dragon? You brought a dragon to Avalar? I hate dragons! Ah! Ow! Crush! Kill it! Kill it! Go! You imbecile! You ain't my scepter! Was that jerk? That was Ripto, and we have to get rid of him. He's causing all sorts of trouble around here, but I haven't got time to explain. Here, take this magic guide to Avalar. It'll help you begin to understand our worlds. Right now, I have to follow Ripto and see what he's up to. I'll meet you in Summer Forest, okay? Hey, wait a minute. Uh, how do we get ourselves into these messes, pal? I can ask the same thing, Spyro. The adventure begins. Oh, hang on a second, though. Okay, never mind. Uh, 
All right. Oh god, that is loud. Let me turn down my game volume. There, that should help. Yeah, that helps out a lot. Okay. All right, so Spyro 2 is a lot different aesthetically and gameplay-wise. So, uh, NPCs, for example. So let's talk to this guy. Hi, Spyro! Welcome to Glimmer! Unfortunately for us, a mob of lizards just showed up and started stealing all of our gems. Can you stop them? Of course I can stop them. Alright, we got these blue lizard guys. And, uh, they won't hurt you. They won't hurt you that much. They'll... Give me another second. I'm having problems. There, that should do it. Alright, so what else has changed that makes Spyro too different? Well, let me see. Oh yeah, these guys that I forgot to say. If you look away, they make fun of you. I see you. Um, let's see, what else is different? Well, the objective is different, no more dragons to save. And those things that you see as I kill the enemies, I'll go over to what those are later. Okay, nothing. All right, and you can have Sparks eat butterflies again. If he eats ten, he gets an extra life. And now what? Well... Oh, hang on, people. Got... Got parent issues to deal with. Okay, people, after that... Kinda lost my voice because of... <coughs> <coughs> Gunk buildup. Or phlegm, whatever you want to call it. I always call it gunk. Alright, so. Anything else up here? Nope. Okay. Spyro has a new few new abilities as well, and oh, this. Hi, Spyro. I'm a friend of Alora's, and she's asked me to help you out. Whenever you find me, I'll remember your progress like this. That zap means that if you get into trouble, I'll return you to this place. See you around. Alright, Zoe is basically your checkpoint. She'll save your game a bit as well. Alright, in here... We have some more enemies. More gems and... A certain someone that I don't like, along with everyone else. But more importantly, more gems which we'll need. Alright, let's uh, get rid of this guy. Cutters are a bit too short to climb these ladders. Looks like you are too. After you learn to climb, come back to Glimmer to see me. Yeah, um, we can't climb just yet, sadly. So, we'll have to come back once we learn how to climb, which that's gonna be a thing in this game is that I'll have to come back to certain levels to complete certain objectives because we don't have some certain abilities. Now, as for this nice guy here... Well, actually, hang on. Yeah, I'm not gonna use the trick to get across. Alright, talk to me, Mr. Moneybags. Oh, you must be the dragon everyone is talking about. Well, dragon or not, I'm afraid there is a small fee to open the bridge. It will cost you 100 of your gems to cross. <sighs> open, please. Thank 
Thank you, Mr. Dragon. Spyro, was it? You can now use the bridge whenever you want, free of charge. I hope we meet again when you have even more gems. Sure. We can now use this free of charge. He'll say that, actually. What do you have to say now, Zoe? To get a good look around, hold down the triangle button. Try using triangle to look around this cave. Well, let's see. I see an enemy. I see some gems. More cave. You, I see you and that big gem up there. We're actually almost there to the end. The end is right here, actually, but, um... I gotta talk to him to get out of here, but I don't want to do that yet. First, I want to go this way and get whatever gems I can out here. That's all the enemies in this level, actually. Alright, now let me see whatever gems I can clean up on. Oh, I loved using that word, clean up. Uh, no, we cannot reach that from here. Alright, uh, you. gem lamps flame all the lamps quickly and the big gem lamp will light the power-up will give you enough magic to fly for a short time okay so we have an objective we have a little job to do which is to light all these gem lamps but I do not want to do that yet want to get all the gems I can first That's all the gems there are up here. <clears throat> and, oh, the power-up ran out. Alright, let's fly again. Because we're gonna need it. Go in here. And get this. As for this guy's mission, I'll do it later. Oh, okay. Now with all this... Let me see if there's anything up in here. Nope. And this is as high as I can go, so... There's some treasure I can get from here. I just gotta be quick. Alright, this treasure. Now, I think if you are quick enough... You can try and reach um, what's up top of there over there, but I'm not going to try that, though. Okay, so with all the gems that I can get, let's actually do that mission. Alright, light all the gem lamps. Let's do it. There. Disco! Thanks for helping me light the lamp spiral. A fairy gave me this orb, but I like gems better. You take it instead. But, oh yeah, orbs. Orbs are very important. I'll go over what they are. Much later, of course. But you like gems better. It's shiny like a gem. The orb itself is a gem. Alright, uh, you, uh, your mission. These little 
lizards have eaten my entire crop of gems. I've tried hitting them with rocks, but they're too fast for me. You can try using one of my rocks. If you have any questions, just ask me. Okay. Spit mechanics. These are new in this game. So go up near a rock or something similar to pick it up. Then, actually, you don't have to hold triangle. But hold triangle to aim and circle to shoot. My shooting! Follow me to the next lizard. Alright, let's go. Lead the way, little guy. You can spit pretty far, Spyro! See if you can spit all the way to that lizard! Okay. Can I actually do it without aiming? I can, wow. I prefer to aim though to be more precise. Like right here, this is where he's gonna tell you to aim. Lizard up high, you'll have to aim. Press and hold the triangle button to aim, then press circle to spin. Okay. Bitten time. Puh, puh. All right, come on, get back into where I can shoot you. <laughs> that was a raspberry. All right, on to the next one. All right. Do some sharp shooting here. Can I shoot at you, money bags? <laughs> That'd be nice. Uh, I can't reach him. I gotta back up a little more. Okay, this should do it. Bullseye! Alright, just two left. Alright, this guy likes to move around, evidently. Gotcha. One more. Around here. And uh, he's actually on top of this structure. Bullseye! my crop of gems from the lizards. Here, take this orb. Some girl with wings dropped it here yesterday. You mean a fairy? Alright, two orbs. Too bad we can't get the third one. Oh, and he's just gonna tell you you can have as many rocks as you can. But, uh, I did all I can here, though, so... I'm gonna leave and come back once I get the ability to climb. So that's gonna take a while. In fact, speaking of which, all these videos probably will take a while. Spyro, thanks for helping us fight off the lizards. Please take this talisman of glimmer as a sign of our gratitude. Talisman? This is another new thing that they introduced. Talismans are very important. This magic portal next to me will take you to Summer Forest, one of the homeworlds of Avalar. All right. Thank you, Twitchy. Let's, uh, let's head to Summer Forest. In Summer Forest. chance to introduce ourselves before. My name is Alora. Uh, hi, I'm Spyro. What are you, some kind of goat? I'm a fawn, you dork. <laughs> oh, sorry. Did you meet the gym cutters and Fawn, you yeah, dork. They gave me a souvenir, too. They called it a talisman. They gave you a talisman? 
What? Is it special? I just stuck it in the guidebook you gave me. There are 14 talismans in Avalar, and they are all magical. If you can collect enough of them, they can be used to defeat Ripto. Hunter, where have you been? I, uh, got a little... <laughs> got lost, you say? He's going to help us collect the talismans. I am? He is. <laughs> Byro, look. There's no way you can get to Dragon Shores right now. Ripto and his monsters have taken over the castle here in the Summer Forest. You're going to have to go to Avalar's worlds and convince the inhabitants to give you their talisman. You can keep them in your guidebook. Hey, I could do that. Why doesn't the dragon just torch Ripto? Hunter, that would be much easier. Keep track of your running shoes. How can we trust you with four <laughs> talismans? I can't imagine him running or I can't imagine him wearing shoes. If you come across any orbs? They're important too, but I'll tell you about them later. Okay, no problem. I'll collect a few talismans, give Ripto the old hot foot, and be in Dragon Shores by lunchtime. You make it sound easy, Spyro. Because I make it easy. Alright, here we are, kind of similar to Artisans and the other home worlds. We have our home world here. Summer Forest, and we got a lot of stuff to collect. So I'm going to collect as much as I can before I end the episode. And there's Alora again. She'll teach you a thing. That's an extra life bottle. They contain butterflies that give you an extra life. Or like I said, if you have sparks, eat 10 butterflies. The 10th one will be this. Alright, Alora, what do you have to say? Spyro, this is the homeworld called Summer Forest. There are portals to many of the Avalar worlds around here. Unfortunately, Ripto has taken over the castle, and we need your help. Start by retrieving the talismans from each of the worlds you go to. Yeah, okay. Talismans, they allow you to move on to the next world. Like, you need them to confront the boss of the world, and then you can move on to the next one. Although, the third world changes it a bit. Did I get all the gems over here? Oh, yeah, I did, okay. So, let's pick up these shiny things. Oh, and there's Hunter, if you... He'll only appear if you fall down that bridge, actually. Hiya, Spyro. Ripto smashed this bridge, so I guess you'll have to glide across it. Press X to jump, then press X again while you're still in the air to glide. Okay, I know how to glide, though. Thanks to Spyro 1. Same mechanics, pretty much. Except they introduced a new one that I prefer. Alright, so let's see. There's money bags, but we'll talk to him in a bit. Zoe, what do you have to say now? Sparks, the dragonfly following you around is your health indicator, Spyro. The brighter he is, the more hit points you have. Yep, we know this from Spyro 1. You can swim in this game now. But we can't go underwater just yet. Also, Colossus will be going there in the next video. So, yeah, swimming, yay! That's Idle Springs, we'll be going there in soon, one day. Let's see, okay. New metal containers. Oh, my ear's itching, hang on. Okay, that's better. It's hard to scratch my ears when I have these big headphones on. Yay, purple! Okay. Alright, that's all the gems down here at the moment. And there's Hunter again. Hi, 
Hi, Spyro. You look like you're pretty agile. Let's try putting it... Well, we're small, so we're agile. Get up this first step. Press X and hold it down to get more hang time. Okay, simple jumping. Okay, not bad. Now, to make this next jump, you'll have to glide. Press X to jump, then press X again at the top of your jump to get the maximum glide distance. Yep. We know this from Spyro 1. Nice job! Now try to do a hover. Press X to jump, then press X again to glide. Then when you reach the end of your glide, press triangle to hover. Hovering will give you extra height and distance. Yep. Compared to Spyro 1 where when you press triangle after a glide, he'll just drop down, this time you can hover. It really helps a lot to make those tricky jumps. Very good! Now for the hardest leap of all. You'll have to give this one everything you've got. Get a walking start, jump, glide, and hover just before you get to the edge of the platform. Don't forget to press forward on the D-pad or analog stick when you hover. Yep, that last part's important. But, it's easy for me. Wow, you're a pretty good athlete. If I hadn't lost my running shoes, I'd take you on for real. For now, here's an orb for your collection. Thank you. Alright, three orbs. Off to a good start. You got anything else to say, Hunter? I'm just taking a break right now. I've got to rest for the next big race in Ocean Speedway. Okay, okay. Now, money bags here. Uh, uh, sorry, Spyro. I'd love to teach you how to swim underwater, but not as much as I'd love to take your treasure. We need 500 gems to swim. So, we don't have enough, but that's going to do for this episode of Spyro 2. So... Yeah, I hope you guys will enjoy this new Let's Play as much as I will. So, join me next time as we do Colossus over there. So, that is it, and I'll be seeing you guys next time.